class. Today we're going to be looking at section 8.1, which is systems of linear equations and two variables. And this should be a nice review for you guys. Um, in this lesson uh, and, and what we're going to do in this chapter for our college algebra class, uh, we're not actually going to solve these systems algebraically. We're just going to focus on what it is graphically so we can spend more time focusing on linear programming, which is one of the main reasons why we learn systems of equations. And that'll be in section 8.6. So that's a little while from now. All right, so let's get started. Uh, we have a system of equations is a situation in which you have more, oops, got to there we go, more than one equation being graphed together. Uh, the solution to a systems of equation or system of linear equations is the point of intersection on that graph. So right now we're going to look at just linear equations with two variables. So here we have consider this system. We have two equations. What I want you to do is go to Desmos, type those equations into here, and I've already pre-typed them to save us some time. So if I turn on the first one, which is x plus 2y equals 2, it gives me that one. And the second equation, x minus 2y equals 6, gives me that. So the solution to the system is the point of intersection, which is the point 4, negative 1. And here, uh, 4, negative 1 is the solution. Negative 4, 3 is not the solution. And because there's no real, we're not doing it algebraically, there's no like work to show if we're using Desmos here. Um, what I would like you guys to do is just draw me a really quick sketch of this. Um, you can use things like the X and Y axes to get a little bit of a more accurate sketch. So I would say, okay, the red line goes through one on the Y axis, two on the X axis. So one, one, two, and one, two, three, four, negative one is that point of intersection. So there's uh, one line here. And then my other one, I have a Y intercept of negative three, X intercept at six. So one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six. And it also goes through that point there. So just kind of a, a nice sketch. It doesn't take too long, especially with Desmos, but try to make sure that you have those um, X and Y intercepts at least and some numbers so that I know what you're scaling by. All right, so let's look at the next one. Uh, we want to sketch the graph of the system and state the solution. So again, we're going to go to Desmos. I'm going to turn these ones off and go to my next. Actually, I can just X them out now that I've used them. So here I have 3X plus 2Y equals 4. I'm going to turn that one on. There it is. And 2X plus Y equals one is there. So, and then you can move your screen around if you need to, if it doesn't really show, but it looks like my point of intersection is at negative two, five. Again, I can look at my X and Y axes to try to get a little bit more of a, of a good picture when I'm sketching it. Really all I care about is that it crosses that negative two, five point. So I would just start by Drawing this really quick, negative two, one, two, three, four, five. And I would write that here. And then it looks like one graph goes through two on my y axis. And the other one goes through one. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use one point. Okay, and that didn't work. See how I didn't go through the right point? I'm gonna fix it. This is a little hard to do on my computer and make it look like a line, but I will try my best ish. <laughs> Sorry, not the best lines. Okay. Hopefully it's easier with your pencil. Okay. I'm going to leave the next two problems for you guys to do. Uh, you can always check with my answer key, uh, on the calendar. Oops. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the next piece here. And this is just to explain, uh, we've seen a couple examples now where two lines cross in one point. That's gonna be this uh, situation here where we have exactly one solution. Uh, we could also have parallel lines, which means I would have no solution. Or we can have two lines that end up exactly the same, which means I have infinitely many solutions. So we have a few different situations here. So again, we want to sketch the graph and then state the solution. So my next two lines here, 5x minus 2y equals 4 
use this one and negative 10x plus 4 over y equals 7. So you can see that these are two nice parallel lines. Uh, they, you can zoom out as much as you want. It doesn't matter. They will never cross. Um, I can put one at negative 2 and one's like eh, almost at 2 there. So I'm going to sketch that. One goes through negative 2. Oops. And one goes through almost 2. And then just make sure they look parallel there doesn't have to be perfect and then you state that there is no solution because they are whoops because they're parallel they never cross and a solution is where the lines cross each other all right the next example y equals 3x minus 2 is that line there crossing my x and y axis at those points and the next line is the same one and come on Sorry, I don't know what happened. Okay, there. So blue, green, you can see they're the same line. So, and I'm just gonna make sure it crosses at least one good point, negative two. Negative two on my y-axis. And the other line is, whoops, is the same. Okay. So infinitely many solutions, because if they're the same line, they cross infinitely many times. All right, last example, we've got an application problem here. Uh, technology is now promising to bring light, fast, and beautiful wheelchairs to millions of people with disabilities. A company is planning to manufacture these radically different wheelchairs. Fixed costs will be $500,000, and then it'll cost 400 to produce each wheelchair. Each wheelchair will then be sold for $600. So we wanna write a cost function, C, producing X wheelchair. So it's gonna cost $500,000, a fixed cost, which means that's just never gonna change, it's just there. Plus it's gonna cost $400 for each wheelchair sold and X is the number of wheelchairs it tells you right here. Then for part B, we want to write our revenue equation and revenue is the amount of money we're going to make from selling the wheelchairs. So revenue is going to be $600 for each wheelchair. Again, X is the number of wheelchairs. So for C, what we want to do is determine a break even point. Uh, so you can do this algebraically, but because we've been focusing on, on graphically, we're going to use that. So we're going to use Desmos. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in uh, Y equals 500,000. Uh, plus 400x, and I'm going to type in y equals 600x, and I'm going to find out where they cross. So if you notice, if I type these in into Desmos, I actually didn't even, I don't even see the first line, and the second line uh, just kind of looks like a vertical line, which it's not. So we need to change our windows here. Um, I know 500,000 is my y axis intercept here. So I need 500,000, oops, here we go, 500,000, <laughs> all right, and then I need my x-axis to go farther, it looks like. Um, sometimes you just kind of have to guess at what that might be. We could try, oops, here we go, we could try 100. Thousand. Oh, I can see those lines. Oh, nice. And now I can see my, my graph. So you just kind of play with it until you get something that works. So now I can see my answer from those two graphs. And it's really important that we get a pretty good picture of these. Uh, so I want to know what those Y intercepts are, X intercepts, if they apply to the problem, um, and then where they cross accurately in a sketch. So we've got a y-axis intercept of 500,000 there, and they cross at 2,500 and 1.5 million. So, oops, I got a little small. Okay. So if I make a sketch, I'm going to have 500,000, and then it was, oh, 1.5 million. So here's 500,000, here's 1 mil, <laughs> and then one point five mil is there and then we've got 2500 okay so one thousand two three 
So 2,500, 1 1.5 million. So there's our point of intersection. One of our lines goes through here. That's our cost equation. You can actually label it since it's a word problem. It's kind of nice to see which one was cost and which one was revenue. My revenue starts at zero, zero, and then works its way up to that point there and then surpasses it, which is usually what happens in a business. You have to get to a certain break even point before you start making money. And then we want to write out our answer. So X is 2,500, Y is 1,500,000. And then because it's a word problem, it's really important that we write this in context of the problem. So our answer is going to be something like, it takes uh, 2,500 and then, oops, too many zeros there, 2,500 wheelchairs to make up the cost of 1.5 million dollars before making a profit. My computer is lagging. Ah, sorry guys. <laughs> All right, there we go. And that's our first lesson.